Yeah, I've just come off the A57 through that pathway there. The entrance is just at the start of the crash barriers as you come out onto the A57. Walking down this nice little wooded area. A little bit muddy today, we've had a couple of days of snow and it's just melted overnight. So at least the snow has gone. And away we go. So I'm following the railway line, I've now come to this river. I'm just pointing back to where I've come from because the sun's behind me. Get to the river and we cross the river over this path. Nice mucky river down there. And we'll carry on following the railway line into Rother Valley Country Park. So here we are, Rother Valley Country Park. As you see we've got the uh, COVID-19 regulations. Oops. Yeah, shows what we can do, what we can't do. Big part of our lives at the moment during this pandemic. We'll scan around. We've got two big lakes on the Valley Country Park. We're going to be walking across both of them. Not right across them, sorry. Might get a bit wet doing that. I'm going to walk around them. So, nice views here. Right, off we go around the lake. Oops. Zoom in on the wildlife on the valley. Ducks, swans, etc. So here we have where the two lakes meet, a small bridge between the two. And we're going to continue walking around the next lake. This is where we're. Okay, so in the distance there, that is a natural ski slope. When we do get some snow, it's quite busy with skiers. And on the very few occasions we get fair long periods of snow, they will actually put up an electric uh, rope sort of thing, a winch, to get the skiers to the top. It's very busy with skiers, tobogganists. And in the summer you get quite a few people sliding down on the grass because it's very, very steep, much steeper than it looks there in the distance. As you can see it gets very busy here at Rother Valley. It's a nice place but not my favourite place for walking because of the number of people but at the moment due to Covid very restricted where we can go. I can't go out into North Yorkshire or into Derbyshire which are my favourite walking spots. Here we are on the, the main big lake. Quite a large lake this. can see it's quite a walk around absolutely dead no water sports no activity allowed on the water at the moment so if there's anybody who's into water skiing participating or just watching there's always plenty of activities on at this ski centre here when it's allowed to open summer it gets absolutely packed. So it's not even midday. Temperatures about four degrees above freezing. Not the best of days for walking but nevertheless it is very busy here. Walkers, cyclists alike all enjoying the bit of fresh air while we can. 
So as I keep saying, it's very busy here. Normally, under normal circumstances, I would walk along the grass, not get into con close contact with everybody, but unfortunately, the grass is like a quagmire, so everybody is having to keep to the main paths. So, this is one of the three car parks in Rother Valley. If you prefer to drive right in, if you do use your car, there is an admission charge. I'm not sure what the admission charge is. I will find out and put that on the end of the video. Those of you with electric cars, there's free charging facilities in every car park as well. Another one of the many facilities here at Rother Valley is the Mini Railway. This is the station. Get a little miniature steam train that goes all the way up to the end of this lake and then there's a circle around the top there zoom in, you can see how far it is, it's quite a way and then brings you all the way back something for the kids, keep the kids occupied and us adults that never grow up The ducks. Three of the ducks. So, make it move now. Lots of wildlife here in the valley. Plenty of bird watchers come here in the summer, in particular. Right into the woods around the waterside, so that we can see. Obviously you're not allowed on the island, that's a nesting place. So we've finished our walk around the lakes, now we're going over the bridge into the wooded area, back to our starting point. So we've come over the bridge and turned left and now walking along this cycleway along the side of the woods and we'll soon be cutting through the woods back to the car. So we've come off the main cycleway now and we're going down, down the slope over a bridge over the river rather. No it's not a river rather, just passed over the river rather. So, we've come down the path and now going into the woods. Nice quiet walking along the woods. Not so many people about. So, now I've come out of the woods. We're walking up this path. Not far to go now. In a very pleasant walk, easy walk. So that's the Rother Valley walk finished. It's just short of four miles. Hope you enjoyed this video. It's the first video I've done for YouTube using this camcorder. If you enjoyed it, subscribe like there will be much more about my life not just walks also my life as a motorcycle marshal and traveling abroad when we can do it so look forward to doing more for you